on your cape and disregard the lack of source material. That would be just fine. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 superhero movies not based on comic books. For this list, we're looking at our favorite flicks that are based around a character imbued with extraordinary talents or even special powers, but that did not originate as a comic book character. Well, now, peace. Now put on your cape, grab your sidekick, and let's get to it. Oh no. I'm very silent. Number 10, Super. Rain Wilson portrays a vigilante-style superhero that fights all manner of crime. I found my skin. Whether he's delivering crippling blows to people who cut in line, or outright murdering hardcore criminals, the Crimson Bolt is hungry for justice. Don't steal! Don't molest kids! Don't deal drugs! Joined by his trusty sidekick, played by Ellen Page, the unhinged dynamic duo stirs up all kinds of trouble while trying to rescue the cook-turned-superhero's troubled wife. I didn't know I wasn't supposed to kill him! I mean, I'm just learning! You have to teach me these things! How am I supposed to tell crime to shut up if I have to shut up? Next up, Sky High! Number 9, Sky High. he's the son of two superpowered heroes, Will Stronghold is sent to Sky High. What do you mean you don't know what your power is? <laughs> oh, I got it. You're messing with the coach. Just like your old man. Car. But after it becomes obvious that Will hasn't yet developed powers of his own, the offspring of the world's most famous superheroes is transferred to the sidekick program. Without hero support, well, there wouldn't be any heroes. All right, there probably would be heroes, but they would be very lonely. By parodying the genre, this family comedy puts a fun twist on the world of comic book heroes and allows us to experience the plights and trials of regular high school kids through the eyes of super-powered teens. Leave them alone! He's strong. We're strong? He's super strong. Number eight, Hancock. What, boy? Bad guys? What, you want a cookie? Down on my face. Will Smith plays John Hancock, a drunken down and out superhero who fights crime while causing all kinds of collateral damage. I'm not gonna judge, but if you don't pull over and give yourselves up quietly, I swear to Christ, your head is going up the driver's ass, his head is going up your ass, and you drew the short stick because your head is going up my ass. Since Hancock doesn't take his job too seriously, he often incurs some problematic confrontations with the law. Thank you for being okay with that. But things start to change when, in an effort to thank him for saving his life, public relations consultant Ray Embry sets out to reinvigorate the superhero's image. You know, you're a superhero. Kids should be running up to you asking you for your autograph. People should be cheering you on the streets, you know? The hell are you pricks looking at? Well, no, 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 sh 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 no, no, they're not. It's all right. What we get is a film that fuses comedy, action, and drama with memorable performances from its stars. You're a hero. Insurance policy of the gods. Number seven, Megamind. Great news. I'm a changed man, and, and I'm ready to re-enter society as a solid citizen. You're a villain, and you'll always be a villain. You'll never change, and you'll never leave. You're fun. This delightful superhero romp asks the question, what happens when a supervillain finally vanquishes his arch nemesis? In order to stop me, you need to find me first. Metro Man. We're at the abandoned observatory. Aha! No, we're not! At first, the bumbling baddie enjoys his new position as the ruthless overlord. Miss Ritchie, we meet again. Would it kill you to wash the bag? You can scream all you wish, Miss Ritchie. I'm afraid no one can hear you. But it soon becomes apparent that without anyone to fight, Megamind has lost his identity. Let's just have fun with this, come on! In addition to super voice work from the likes of Will Ferrell, Tina Fey, and Jonah Hill, to name a few. This must be very thrilling for you. What do you think you're doing? Oh, am I moving too fast? 
You're probably right. I should just rescue you a few times before we get all romantic. This 3D CGI flick is entertaining, visually stunning, and, well, mega. <laughs> what? What? <gasps> oh! Don't look at me! Just, just a technical glitch. Don't look yet. Well, never mind that. Don't push me. Just don't We're push not me. Gonna push me. You We're like, push you in. We're just trying to get on camp. Listen, listen. Number six, Chronicle. Listen, you hear that? What? <laughs> Wait, how creepy is that? In this sci-fi flick with dramatic and thriller-esque elements, three teenagers are imbued with supernatural powers when they come into contact with a mysterious device. This is awesome! Oh, dude, here goes! Ah, 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 ah. Using the found footage style of filmmaking, director Josh Tank made Chronicle a breath of fresh air in the superhero movie genre. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, shit. What the hell did you just do? Watching the boys deal with their abilities, especially Andrew's slow descent into darkness, is engaging and entertaining. Listen, just focus, okay? I dropped him! Why did you catch him? This is not a game, do you understand? You're hurting people. You're weak, man. You're all weak. I know kung fu. Number five, the Matrix franchise. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. While it's not what you typically consider a superhero flick, since it's more known for its stunning sci-fi, groundbreaking special effects, and fusion of philosophy, martial arts, and stylized violence. Holy shit! <gasps> The Matrix also attracted fans for the superhero-like story at its heart. He's doing this Superman thing. Though he initially believes himself to be like everyone else, computer programmer Neo slowly comes to suspect there might be something more to the world than the mundane reality in which he lives. This can be what? Be real? After his awakening, he's told he holds the key to freeing humanity from the machine-dominated Matrix. Hmm. Upgrades. And it's his journey from everyman to savior, which includes super flight and super speed, that had us all hooked. They took my hands. Number four, Darkman. <laughs> This action movie revolves around a scientist named Dr. Peyton Westlake, who ends up having to use the synthetic skin he's developing on himself after a gang of thugs horribly mutilates his hands and face and blow up his lab. While it's not based on any previously conceived comic book character, director Sam Raimi managed to capture the look and feel of superhero stories so well that the film earned good reviews and box office success. I told you everything! Oh, I know, Rick. I know you did. But, <laughs> but let's pretend you didn't. Darkman also spawned comic books of its own, as well as sequels and other media. But I can tell you this. She doesn't date freaks. Number three, Robocop. <laughs> well, give the man a hand. Half robot, half cop, all superhero. After Officer Alex Murphy is shot down during a patrol, his still-living remains are used to create a cyborg that will dole out justice on the streets of Detroit. However, things don't turn out as planned when Robocop begins to feel human emotion and starts remembering his past. 
But despite its heavy violence, this futuristic sci-fi flick garnered acclaim for its socio-political themes, clever writing, and special effects. Nice shooting, son. What's your name? Murphy. Number two, Unbreakable. Before most of M. Night Shyamalan's recent efforts proved less than watchable, this superhero-inspired gem earned fans among critics and movie watchers alike. If you're just tuning in, East Rail train number 177 has derailed just outside Philadelphia, and we're bringing you live coverage from Skycam 4. Unbreakable follows the story of a security guard and train wreck survivor who gradually realizes he may be more than human. Why is it, do you think, that of all the professions in the world, you chose protection? A oh, very strange man. As suspenseful as it is intriguing, the movie also features interesting plot twists and an added sense of realism to the superhero struggle. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. The hand. That's handy work. Now lock him up, Chota boy. Number one, The Incredibles. Well, we could share, you know. I work alone. Well, I think you need to be more flexible. The Pars aren't your typical nuclear family. For one thing, all the members possess superpowers. <laughs> oh, hey, no force field! Hey, yes. You started it. For another, the mother and father team of Bob and Helen used to be masked crime fighters. Girls, come on. Leave the saving of the world to the men? I don't think so. Now they're living as normal suburbanites in a world that's covered up the existence of superheroes. Where are you two going? It's Wednesday. <laughs> oh, bowling night. Say hello to honey for me, Lucius. Well, we'll do. Uh, good night, Helen. Good night, kids. So when Bob is given the opportunity to don the old super suit once again, he jumps at it with glee. Oh, I love you. And the result is this critically acclaimed visual masterpiece that's filled with humor, action, and excitement that'll delight the whole family. Is everybody okay back there? <laughs> Super duper, Dad! <laughs> Let's do that again. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite superhero movie not based on comic books? More importantly, you're the only ones who have remembered that it's more important to fight evil in all its forms rather than just give in to Satan. For more epic top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Thank you for your cooperation.